Before we go ahead and try to solve the question 1 in the first midterm, let's review some of the things that were said during the lecture. Let's go back to the slides. One thing we said is that if we connect the capacitor to a Thevenin circuit, like this, the final value of the voltage in the capacitor, if we let it charge for a very long time, there's the catch, will be the Thevenin voltage. So if we close the switch, regardless of what the initial voltage in the capacitor was, and we wait long enough, the final voltage in the capacitor will be V7, and that is what we said in class. We also said that that journey of that voltage from VC0 up or down to VCF to V7 was taken with the time constant r 7 c That was enough information for us to write this voltage in the capacitor VC as a function of time. And that we did. We said, given that we know the initial voltage in the capacitor it comes from before, and we know that the final voltage in the capacitor is V7, and we know the time constant of that journey, we can write the voltage in the capacitor as the difference between VC0 and V7 multiplied by the exponential of negative t divided by the known time constant plus the final value V7. That is all we needed to solve that question of this exam. Let's read the question. A 15 volt TC source is applied to the totem of elements displayed in figure 1 below. Two resistors R1 and R2, 3 kilos and 1 kilo ohms, and a capacitor C of 50 microfarads. At the node between R1 and R2, there is a switch that periodically opens and closes. In every period of this sequence, the switch stays open for t of seconds, as shown, and then it stays closed for t on seconds. The figure shows that the capacitor is not allowed to fully charge to 15 volts or completely discharge down to 0 volts. But instead, the switch closes when VC reaches a high of V high and the switch opens when VC reaches a low of V low. What are T on and T off for the switch? Hint, check the time constant and there would be final voltage in the capacitor with the switch open and with the switch close. The lowest voltage in the capacitor is 2 volts, this one here, and the highest one is 9 volts. During the charge of the capacitor, the voltage starts at 2 in the capacitor and it climbs up, trying to reach V7, which is 15 volts when the switch is open. The time constant will be the product of R1 plus R2 times C, and that is 3000 plus 1000 times 50. At that time constant is 0 0.2 seconds. So we can write that curve as a function of time between this assumed t equals 0 and the point at which that curve reaches t high 9 volts. 9 volts. This value. What time is that? And that is, of course, is t off. This time is T off. Let's write that as a function of time. We say 9 volts is the value of that curve at T equal T off. Amplitude of the exponential initial value 2 minus final value times e to the negative T divided to the time constant plus the final value. There is only one unknown, this one T, which is no other than T off. And we solve for T off. And T off is 154.6 milliseconds, which is the first of the two parts of this question. 
let's move on to the second part. When this switch is closed, this part of the circuit becomes invisible to the capacitor. All it sees is the resistor R2 and the new V7 and of 0 volts. The initial voltage of that capacitor is 9 volts and the final value is 0 volts. It will decrease its voltage with the time constant that will be given by R2C 1000 ohms times 50 microfarads. The time constant now is of 50 milliseconds only. But that voltage will never reach 0 volts, no. Because that switch will open as soon as the voltage reaches the minimum voltage of 2 volts, down here. The time necessary for that will be what we have agreed on calling the T on, the time that the switch will remain connected on, shorting to ground at this point in the circuit. We can write now this curve as a function of time and at t equal t on the value should be 2 and we write which is 74.2 milliseconds which is the answer to the second part of this question. Thank you.